Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching the Angry Truth channel. So, today's video, we're going to talk about robots replacing people. Now, clearly, guys, we're entering that age, as we saw growing up in movies, that robot robots are going to start to replace people. Now, it's not something new. We've had automated items, if you will, replace us, or things that ran automatically replacing us, like the elevator right on the escalator for example those things got rid of a lot of elevator men right guys used to stand in the elevators and operate elevators elevator operators if you will a lot of them were out of jobs by late 1980s now i remember that a couple of buildings that i was in i was in there were still elevator operators in them and that was when i was like five six years old again early 80s but most of them were gone by the late 70s early 80s because elevators became a thing and they were replaced and that was it guys we're talking about thousands if not tens of thousands of men put out of work for operating elevators because this new thing this the future if you will came about and replaced these guys now that being said this happened over probably a 40 60 year period right 40 to 60 year period this happened where these guys were replaced with elevators that's a little different now what we're seeing we're probably going to see mass people being replaced by robots and or more devices that are automated. Look what they did at McDonald's. They wanted to hire, uh, they wanted to raise McDonald's employees minimum wage. McDonald's said, have at it. And they replaced a lot of them with uh, automated cashiers or ordering kiosks, if you will. Sorry. And so that took a lot of McDonald's employees out or for, for them to even hire more employees, right? We had Legos, right? The, the company that builds those stupid little building blocks that a lot of us as parents stepped on at some point in our life because our kids left them on the floor, right? Those fucking things. They have an entirely automated facility where they have no workers. And the only workers there are the guys that fix the robots that are shipping everything around. Their thing is completely automated. And that's Legos. I think that's out in like Denmark or some shit or Switzerland or whatever it is. Right. So now we have Amazon talking about hiring robots to do the packaging. Those guys that, that sift through the packages or they gather the packages together. I don't know what they're called, but they want to replace those guys with robots. Because now that they're unionizing, Amazon's like, nope, we're not doing this shit. And they're going to hire robots because what do robots do? Don't do. They don't talk back and they don't need to fucking unionize because they can't but my point is guys is that robots are eventually going to start replacing people we have ai technology that's replacing us now or replacing a lot of the things we do but they haven't had an ai robot that's actually working replacing us but that's down the line that is in our lifetime we're going to see an ai robot or robots take over a complete field of work now supposedly they're looking at robots for police officers I don't understand that. We saw RoboCop. This shit didn't work out that well. I'm pretty sure we also Terminator, and that shit didn't work out that well. And nonetheless, guys, the people hell bent on destroying the world or thinking robots are going to make the world better haven't watched any of those movies. They didn't watch iRobot for some from some reason. We saw how that turned out, right? I mean, Will Smith got it together and saved the world, but still, or Sonny the robot saved the world, but still. These things, guys, are going to start putting us out of work. That's the more important thing. Forget about the, the, the you know, the, the stuff that they can do for us. They're going to be putting us out of work. It's only a matter of time, guys, before robots replace nurses and doctors. Now, we might not see that in our lifetime, but I could definitely see that down the line. Now, we have seen, guys, robots replace, not robots, but machines, if you will, sorry, replace, like, production lines, right? So people who used to put cars together, they stopped doing that. They started using these big joint robot joints or whatever they were that put cars together now you still have humans that inspect the cars and go over to find the finer points of a car but nonetheless they're going to be replaced soon as well a lot of people guys are going to start losing their jobs probably in the next 30 to 40 years where you're going to have a high unemployment rate because you're going to have robots doing all of the work because robots guys or or machines cost less than humans you don't have to pay robots salary you don't have to pay them uh medical care dental care you don't have to give them lunch breaks you don't have to worry about them screaming at you you don't have to worry about them shooting up your fucking your business 
They're just there. And that's the reason for a lot of companies switching over because it saves money. Now, there are certain companies, guys, that have said in the past they will never use robots, even though they probably could and can, but they won't because that puts people out of work. That's a nice ideology, and I hope that ideology sticks around for a lot longer than I'm saying. But, guys, if you pay attention to the robot tech field, the robot world, they're looking to replace a lot of humans, out, put a lot of humans out of work. Period. Even to a point, guys, where they have AI robots fix themselves and fix other robots so that even we can't fix robots then. It's coming down the pipe, guys. All you have to do is read about it. It's all it's not all over the internet, but you dive into certain spots in the internet, guys, you'll see it. It's scary because we are going to be jobless probably in the next sixty years or so. And that's not every job, but that's the majority of jobs that where robots are going to reign supreme because they can do it better than us, faster than us, and cheaper than us. That is something to keep in the back of your heads. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth channel.